Hello, hello. Today's book is Henry's Amazing Imagination. Ooh. <laughs> wow. So, <laughs> he did his math, but he's imagining some fun things with giant bugs. <laughs> Henry loved using his imagination. Ooh, me too. Wow. There he is in his class telling a story. Especially during show and tell. He told the class he caught a fish so big. Whoa! It pulled his boat across the whole lake. Wow. <laughs> really? I don't know. That's a really huge fish. <laughs> Whoa. And he built a snowman as big as his house. <sighs> That's a giant snowman as big as your house. Oh, my. Hmm. Teacher Mr. Bear <laughs> is not sure. Maybe he doesn't believe that. Henry even told the class all about his neighbor's pet, Joey. <laughs> his neighbor has a giant dinosaur as a pet? Mm, I don't know. Sang sang hanen go? Imagine. The day Henry told them, an alien had landed in his yard. Beep, boop, beep. <gasps> Everyone started asking questions. Um, how can an alien breathe on Earth? Why didn't you call 911? What color was the alien? Aliens don't land in backyards. They land at Disney World. My mom says there are no aliens. What planet was he from? Uh, uh. <laughs> Tony said, you're a big fibber. Like, oh, you lied. Uh, Gojin Marasel, you He's like, no, Henry didn't mean to fib. It's just that his imagination got mixed up with the truth. Oh, that's the truth. But then, oh, 상상하는 거? Mm. Oh, after show and tell, Mr. McCarthy said, Henry, you have an amazing imagination. Instead of using it for show and tell, why don't you use it to write stories? Oh. Good idea. Hmm. But what if I can't spell all the words? Oh, writing all the words is hard. That's okay. Just do your best, said Mr. McCarthy. You can even draw pictures to go with them. Mm hmm. Okay. There was a purple dragon. Let's see, what did he write? There was a purple dragon named Fire. He was my best friend. We played soccer. <laughs> wow. So Henry got busy at home. Mm -hmm. And at school. Wow, he keeps making stories. Mm -hmm. Now that Henry was using all his imagination to write stories... <sighs> we went to the store and bought cheese. Ah, uh, his stories are boring and not fun now. That's show and tell. Show and tell was really boring. <laughs> we, here's the cheese. We went home. Ah, <laughs> We made a cheese sandwich. It was good. So boring, Sydney fell asleep. The kangaroo, Sydney. 
<laughs> the teacher, the teacher fell asleep too. <laughs> and Tony said, I liked it better when you fibbed during show and tell. When you, when you imagined and lied, it was fun. But Henry knew he shouldn't fib. Yeah, don't lie. So he got an idea. Aha! Well, at the next show and tell, Henry read his stories aloud. No one called him a fibber. Wow, the spaceship. Now it's a story that you're telling. That very cool. That you made. No one was bored. Everyone agreed when Henry used his imagination to write stories. Show and tell was amazing. Wow, what an amazing story. <laughs> Good imagination. <laughs>